Howdy, howdy, this is Teapot on Mordrum. Um, so, my name's Teapot72, and I'm just, I've been playing Minecraft for about two and a half years, and just thought I'd go through a little Let's Play on my own with here. Um, I'm on the Mordrum server, it's a public server, it's got some mods on it, and I'll be talking about the mods as we go through. Um, what I did is I got away from spawn, and so I've got a little bit of equipment here, not very much, just some of the stuff I got from punching trees, just trying to stay over the night. Um, as we take a look uh, in my inventory, I don't have very much here, just some wooden tools and stuff. I'm um, getting ready to start doing some exploring, some caving and stuff. I've got a slightly uh, different way of playing Minecraft than some of the other people. It's just my own quirk, so I hope you enjoy it, and uh, we're just going to do a little bit of exploration here. So one of the things that I mentioned here is, uh, let me go ahead and get my kit set. Um, this is a uh, less than traditional uh, site. There's some mods on here, and as I come up with the mods, I'll kind of explain what some of them are. Uh, the first mod we have, let me go ahead and get into the chat real quick. Uh, you'll notice on the left you've got that little number zero. Uh, we do vote on this server, and so... I can go to the Mordrum website, and uh, every vote that I get, not only does that increase my number, you can see Agent Swishy's got uh, a number of 28 there, meaning he's voted 28 times, but every time that you vote, uh, you also get a magic. Oh, some iron. So what I need to do is I need to get, a, get my uh, pickaxe set up here. So I'm going to go ahead and get a stone pickaxe set up. But every time that you vote, um, not only do you help to set up the server, um, but you also do get a random prize, which uh, I'll vote in just a second. I'm going to be using the uh, counter down there to kind of indicate the episode we're on, and we're on episode one here. So now I've got some iron here. I'm going to set up... Uh, Set up a little furnace down here and set some cooking. Uh, notice how it says that we've got a private furnace set up. Um, there are some locks on here because, you know, it is a public server. Um, newbies are only allowed to have uh, two locks, and so I'm going to be stuck with just two locks until... Uh, I donate, which I'm not going to do on this account. I am a donator on another account, and so that's how I know how some of this stuff works. But um, we'll also be talking about some some of the other mods as we go through. Um, as I said, this is a public server, and if you go to the website play.mordrum.com, you will find a map of what we've got going on here. There are a lot of really nice builds, and probably in a later episode I'll show you some of the other builds I've got on my other uh, player account. But as for now, I want to try and just take this as a survival let's play. This is a survival server, but the, you know there are some mods on here that are your non-traditional mods. And as I said, I'll be getting to those as we go. So let's go ahead and get some better tools here. Uh, some sticks would be nice. So as I said, this, you know, I've been playing Minecraft for a while, but this is really my uh, first Let's Play that I've gotten on. So just get some better -er tools in here. And of course, notice when I break an object, then it's... Uh, Unlatched. Later on, I'll try and find someone else's furnace or chest where they've got it locked and show you that, you know, they can't uh, access it if it's locked. A, a third-party person can't access it unless you specifically add a person to that lock. Now, I'm playing around here, of course, you know, it'd be nice if I got a little bit more iron, maybe suit up some armor or stuff. And so that's what I'm headed for, trying to either find a cave down here or... Uh, maybe do a little bit of mining at bedrock. Just try and get some better equipment. 
as I said, this is my first foray into a Let's Play, and if you see anything you like here, then of course I encourage you to keep watching. Uh, I do have a major shout out to my other friends on uh, Mordrum. So, as soon as I find something exciting, we'll have something here. Okay, looks like we just got some redstone here. Redstone's always good for the XP, and you never know, searching it out might help us find a, a different uh, cave system or some other place where we can find some more interesting tokens. Let me go ahead and light this up a tad more. I'm going to keep going into... Ah, gold. That's one of the other things that we're going to find, is that gold is the currency on this server. Everything here is... Uh, bought or sold in nuggets and so if you have nuggets then you can purchase things from chest shops that players have set up on the server and if you end up with too much of an item or want to get rid of some items you yourself can set up a chest shop so if the need arises I'll probably set up a sh uh, chest shop somewhere and here I am down at the bedrock level that's great I'm gonna go ahead and get this and smelt this up and see the void fog down here. A little bit of lag. Mordrum's a public server. Um, there's probably, you know, 8 to 15 people on the server at any particular one time. Uh, right now, it's a little late at night, so there's only 2 or 3 people on right now. Um, it's owned by Sir Savory, uh, who's run this server for several years. <clears throat> and there's quite a few regulars that come on here, and I hope that we will eventually get a chance to talk with some of the regulars. Uh, you'll notice people like uh, Agent and Dark uh, will have the uh, V by their name. It means that they're veterans, which means they've been on the server for at least three years. One of the things this map does is it resets every year. So on January 1st, we'll see a reset which will incorporate some of the 1.8 mechanics. Um, I'm not sure if we're going to see much in the terrain of 1.8 um, until the server reset. Uh, I know that uh, Savory mentioned something about uh, adding a resource area where we could mine some of the newer stuff. And uh, we will eventually switch to 1.8 when it's stable. Today we got a, a message on Twitter that uh, it was entering uh, bug repair. So what will happen is there's not going to be any new features added. As many of you who have played on the snapshots have seen uh, the new features there. Um, but there's not going to be any more new features added. Oops, and that's the end of my iron. So I better take care of a couple of things here. I'm going to go back down this tunnel. I probably am about level 10 or 11 doing some strip mining, hoping eventually I'll find some diamonds. Go back up to the top, uh, craft me a couple more picks because I've been derelict in my duty. It's a wee bit dark down here. Let me put a light there. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, Get a couple more sticks and probably just make a few utility picks here. One doesn't want to run out of picks into depths. And I'll go ahead and block this up. I don't plan on coming out for a while when I... Uh, until I'm a little bit better equipped. Um, one of the things that we'll be able to do is... Uh, join a town. This is a towny server, which means I know a lot of y'all are probably familiar with um, factions, and townies similar to that in that you've got protected areas that are protected uh, for members of a faction, and uh, the strength of the town uh, goes up the more spots that can be claimed by members of the town, the more people that they have. There's some iron. Good stuff. So now that I brought my bench down here, I can get this set up. And probably set this up as a base of operations. Um, as I said, I started off on the server um, 
traveling a bit from spawn. Spawn on most public servers tends to be a very barren place, not very much wood, not very exciting to go. Um, and so that's when I start off with the um, the preliminary world, world, wooden tools you saw me at the beginning. Um, I've completed a few of these options, not very much. I've I've killed, I created a sword, I actually did kill a cow. Um, I got wood and took inventory, as always, created a construction thing, and I have upgrades. So I have done a few things here, but, um, you know, this is a Let's Play, and we're going to be discovering some stuff together. I, I hope we enjoy it. Let me go ahead and create some tools here real quick. And, of course, it's going to create a private one for me. need to go ahead and melt down this iron ore. probably also need to melt this gold ore. I've got a flint and a... So I can actually create an arrow, which would be nice if I get some string later on. I am hoping to run across uh, an abandoned mine shaft. Those are always fun, and I, I, I do love to explore those. So I, I do hope to, to share that with you. I've got one piece of leather. I'm hoping I can make something exciting from that, my, my cow victim. But at this point, I'm just trying to survive, uh, get some preliminary tools. You've seen some of them, and... Uh, That sounded completely innocent. Is there a skeleton around here? I think so. That'd be nice if I had a skeleton kind of show here. Let's go ahead and uh, do something with that gold and get one more nice pick. I'll go ahead and put that on my three bar. I, I, the way I normally keep my my kit is I like to have my weapon on one, uh, my main pick on two. This is usually my axe, um, shovel on four, uh, primary and secondary blocks on five and six. I'll usually have a water bucket here at seven, food at eight, and torches at nine. You know, just generic real life happenings. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear out a little area around here. my little hovel deep underground and uh, hopefully become a little bit better prepared. Might as well use that to always a nice sound to hear. Ah, oh, there's some coal. That's helpful as well. Now, of course, being a public server, you will have a little bit of a lag. There's some water nearby, which should be helpful. Okay, I guess I'm a lot closer to bedrock than I thought. I must be at level 6 or something. So I've got my coal. Probably set up a little bit more of a floor here. I really don't need to be at this level of the, the underworld. Always worry about digging up when you're down in this deep, but relatively safe. That's good. So what we've done here is we've established ourselves kind of a little base here. Um, relatively prepared from people who would want to raid or grief me. Uh, I think probably the last thing I'm going to do is set up a... Well, no, I'm not going to be setting up a chest anytime soon. I'm going to need to acquire some wood before I get my chest, so I'll probably do that off-camera. Uh, I do want to thank you for watching. Um, I do appreciate any views you get. Uh, this is Teapot on Mordrum, and thank you for watching, and have a great day.